started this season by coming down from the Marquesas to the Tuamotos, visiting various atolls, before we crossed over to Tahiti and then to Maria. Once we'd spent time there, we headed back up towards the Tuamoto via Makatea, the famous mining island we covered in a previous video, um, and headed ultimately to Kawe, which is where we picked this video up from on our way back to the Marquesas for the cycling season. This is our view, which all looks great, but it's very ominous. Right. I'm going to show what it's like sailing in the South Pacific. Yeah. Ready? Here it goes. Here we are. There we are. Absolutely pissing down. And the reason is... Ta da Squalls! So this is Raroya. Main Street. Seems here that. You... Whoops! The dog having a fight. Most people get power from the solars. Bonjour. And there's lots of dogs. So um, today we have a local delicacy, we're very lucky, we've managed to buy a coconut crab off a local lady and here he is, she's very kindly cooked him for us as well, when we first saw him he was still, still very much alive and very scary, but there he is, that's a coconut crab, look at the size of those claws, so called because they can actually munch their way through coconuts with these cra with these claws. But uh, I'm sure he's going to make delicious eating. Or she. It may be the most delicious part of the crab, but I will not be eating it. No, but give that to the sharks. That is going for the sharks. That is just too gross for words. So we just crossed this little creek and now we're going to walk up the beach because the scrub is a bit too dense to get across. Perfect day for doing the washing. Pissing with fucking rain. Pissing with fucking rain. Up here in the Tuamoto, it's very important when anchoring that you float your chain to avoid getting wrapped around all the coral bombies. It's easy enough to set the anchor in a nice sandy patch, but when the wind changes and the boat swings round, you're going to end up in a horrible mess if you don't float that chain. We're leaving Roroya now. Um, probably the friendliest, nicest people we've met so far in Polynesia, and they've all been lovely and friendly, all the Polynesians have been fantastic but people in Maroi are just a little bit, you know, a little bit more so. But the place itself has got, there's absolutely nothing there at all, nothing, no facilities of any sort, no leisure facilities, no sports facilities for anybody, tiny little village, no internet, so you know, we've been stuck there now for 10 days waiting for a weather window to escape. When you're stuck on a boat in endless torrential rain and squalls, you can't go anywhere and you can't even kill time looking at nonsense on the internet. Wow, that's a long 10 days. So we're, um, we're glad to be moving. Hope for the best. Another massive squall. I think it's going to miss us though because it's downwind of us. Nonetheless, it seems very close. Like I've said before, this won't look anything, and actually the sea isn't very big, but oh, it's so horrible.
So after four days of bashing to windward, having left Raroya, we eventually got back to Marquesas, to Nukahiva, where we got ourselves tucked up safe and sound for the cyclone season. I'm very glad we were to arrive too.